I've been composing film scores for almost 30 years now. Back in the 60s, I worked for Lean and Hitchcock and Kubrick, you name them. <laughs> they loved my music. Then, in the 70s, I don't know what it was, really. Fashions changed and nobody wanted to know. Well, it's been uphill ever since. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, if you'd like to come this way, Mr. Attenborough will see you now. Pleasant journey? Uh, I worked with Dickie many years ago, so I feel quite optimistic. I may be old-fashioned, but I've always believed that nothing beats a good tune, and I know Dickie feels the same. Because we can finance the Northern American end of the picture with a negative pickup. Yeah. But we'll have to... Stan! Stanley Rogers, how are you, darling? Long time no see. Gentlemen, may I introduce one of the greats, Stanley Rogers. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you read the script, Stan? I have, uh, Dickie. I think it's very moving. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's obviously, it's just uh, rough at the moment, you know, but um, <clears throat> uh, this is the, um, the, main, the main thing. I was walking down the beach one fine day, feeling a little bit randy. <laughs> Coming my way if it wasn't me old mate, Gandhi, Gandhi. <laughs> If it wasn't the old mate Gandhi, I was walking down the beach on another day, and my toes were getting sandy. Oh, did I see swimming in the sea? If it wasn't the old mate Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi. If it wasn't the old mate Gandhi. <sighs> Obviously, I'll do the orchestral arrangement, you know, to sort of beef it up. <laughs> yes. Dickie liked it, I think. But apparently, Ben Kingsley can't sing for Toffee, and as I've never composed anything for the sea tar, that was that, really. Excuse me, Mr. Rogers. I've never worked with Cubby before, but Harry and I are all chums. <laughs> Jane, I want you to hold all calls. I have Mr. Stanley Rogers with me. Cubby, this is Stanley Rogers. Yeah, it's a great honor, Stanley. I hope you like it. She looked at me across the table I said, don't be a brazen fuzzy She said, do you know who I am? I said, yes, you're hot to pussy <laughs> She said, I don't like lobster I said, don't be so fuzzy She said, do you know what my name is? I said, yes it's Octopussy. <laughs> uh, Jane, <clears throat> you can put all calls through. Mr. Rogers is leaving. So long, Stan. I was just a bit too modern for them, I think. They don't take risks, you see. They've worked with John Barry for too long. <laughs> Still, that's their loss. I've never met Francis Ford Coppola before. But I've heard he's a bit of a turn away. She said, leave it till Monday. I said, no. She said, leave it till Tuesday. I said, no. She said, leave it till the end of the week. I said, no go. Why put it up till tomorrow? What you can do for today? I don't want to cause you no sorrow. But this I just ha have to say. You got to have your apocalypse now. <laughs> You're a now. Don't be a procrastinator. I don't want to cause you row. I don't want to lower the tone. So have your apocalypse now. And then we can all go home. You're hired. <laughs>